This is ATR Lambda by Schmidt and Hinge. As you can see, this is our prism box and this is the display. We have several lids for the prism surface, pressuring lid with detailed pressurization or a loose lid cover. Today we will be measuring four applications using the contact liquid diode methane, applying one single drop onto the prism surface. We will use a solid glass sample which is polished on one side. This will be put onto the prism surface of the instrument. Close the lid. Press the start button. The temperature is automatically adjusted to the optimum measurement temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The instrument is capable of holding the temperature to about a hundredth of degrees Celsius. After about 20 seconds, you can expect your measuring results in table form. On the left side, wavelength is displayed. On the right side, the refractokinesis. Press the arrow button on the right side to look at the dispersion curve to ensure the measurement has been performed correctly. We're going to demonstrate how to measure a soft lens kept in liquid. This is quite easy to measure. Simply take a soft lens sample of any size and center it onto the prism surface and close the special pressuring lid to keep the sample fixated on the surface. Press start and see the measurement results within 20 seconds. You can expect wavelengths on the left side and corresponding refractive index on the right side within 20 seconds. To visualize the results, press the arrow button. We will demonstrate how to measure a thin polymer foil sample. We will use a contact agent, one single drop onto the prism surface. We have the thin polymer foil sample. It is a cut piece that we will put on top of the prism surface. In order to get rid of the reflection of the upper surface, we will apply another drop of liquid on top of the polymer sample. And also, we will apply the glass sample to contact the polymer foil. Then, again, close the lid. Now we are ready to measure, pressing start. You can expect the measurement results within 20 seconds. Wavelengths on the left, refractive indexes on the right, visualize the results to see the dispersion curve, the measurement has been successful. We will show how to measure a solid polymer sample on our refractometer, applying diode methane to contact the sample to the prism surface, put a cut sample with a polished surface onto the measuring surface, Close the lid. We're ready to measure. Press the start button. Still 20 degrees. The wavelengths are on the left side. The corresponding refractive index is on the right. To visualize, see the dispersion curve. Next, we will show you how to clean the instruments in between each measurement. Make sure you're cleaning the instrument with distilled water and ethanol. First, making sure we clean the surface with a drop of ethanol. Take a clean wipe. Take out the ethanol.
to ensure we have cleaned the surface correctly, you can measure a drop of distilled water on top of the prism surface. Close the lid and measure. The distilled water should be showing 590 wavelengths and 1333 refractive indexes. Then our instrument is calibrated correctly, measuring correctly. Clean out the distilled water. Now you are ready to measure your new sample.